What's up everyone? It's your girl Irene underscore Jep and guys welcome back to our channel. So in today's video guys, I have already watched all these videos of people talking about African village cook, African tea travel, something like that because you know she came out and talked so so much, like so much and I was like no I have to go to the beginning of all these issues and yeah we check out what was the problem, is she the problem was it, or is it the travel commando? When the travel commando talked about this dirty kitchen, did he mention African village cook? Why did African village cook come then and defend herself as if uh, the travel commando had talked about her? So she still she's still complaining about a lot of things. She says that she she used to buy food. Like how how did you buy used to buy food? Okay, if you buy once, does it mean that you used to buy every day? Because we had a system, we had a structure of how things were being bought. The only thing that was needed of her was to write things that are needed only only that nothing else nobody was ever told you need to buy this you need our only our only work was to submit our things that were needed the budget and everything and marwa never ever said no so let's jump into this video guys and listen you know because i'm really disappointed in this african village cook she needs to be grateful but she's becoming ungrateful <laughs> My good people, as a loyal member of the Travel Commando, or rather Team Marwa, you know, this story of African Village Cook, it has been going round and round and round and round. Basically, I had to wait for people to talk, to talk, to talk, and then now listen to what they were saying and come up with my own video now because I am the person who worked with her in the same premises under one boss and I know everything that was happening, you know. And yeah, I actually felt like today is the best day to come out and speak out, tell the truth. And what I can tell you guys, this lady, African village cook, is somebody who doesn't appreciate things. She is somebody who just went to take from the travel commando from day one when she went to the village and then went to travel commando remember at first the travel commando didn't have that um the energy and the zeal to actually make her be really close but she persisted she kept on uh, going to the village that was even before the party none of us had even gone there she used to go there requested uh, if she could be the cook during the party and all that and most of the team marwa you know the the loyal members in the premier the premier gang they were like no you should not accept her and all that but you know the travel commando always gives a chance to everybody so we cannot blame him for being nice he just wanted to support her but it is really unfortunate that african village cook her only intentions was to grow a channel her only intentions was to just take 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 and not even give like she would give but expecting to get it back you know there is a difference uh between the two the two words there is a difference when somebody just uh gives like the way a travel commando does he always gives he doesn't expect anything from you you know anybody that he supports that is uh, what i mean but unfortunately for african village cook like she only just she just wanted to take 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 only and that was really really sad and you know her true colors came out immediately after the party. You know, that's how you see the signs of people who are never genuine at all. Never genuine at all. I know you will understand me by the end of this video, guys. So kindly watch the video to the end. So today I want us to go to the beginning of these issues, you know, because I don't really, I, I don't feel happy when somebody comes out and puts mud on the travel commando trying to 
damage the reputation of the travel commando. Yeah, the travel commander has, has not done anything wrong to anybody. He willingly accepted her and even cooked for them, despite the fact that in the previous months he had decided to blackmail people like Mayugno and you know it wasn't really nice people that worked with the lazy gang you know being given such opportunity people should appreciate and as much as you also give out your services you don't expect like um don't expect anything that's what like just to do it from your art and I, you will feel happy for real if you do anything from your art willingly you will always feel happy about it so guys i want us to listen to this video that actually made us know the true colors of african village cook let's listen to this video guys and then we will come out and explain more Procio. Where shall we start from, Rosie? <laughs> uh, good morning. Rosie. Morning. Good morning. I think this lady is here. She will help. She will help clean. When you know what will Oh, Elisa is here. We still have. And we need. Zila Dagazi Eko Wajua. This year, I repeat. Now we are back to our kitchen now. Now you take, we need to take care of the kitchen now. Or it's too much. It will settle down, you know. This, after today, you can open the window so the air can come in. Yes. <laughs> Why are you overthinking like this? Because. So in this short clip, we are still going to see another one, a very short one again. In this short clip, Marwa is coming out from their room, their bedroom basically. And this was immediately after the party. Like the party just ended today and that was the next day. And on this particular day, they woke up earlier than the workers, the people that helped them clean. And those who actually, people like Lucy, they have always been there working. People like... um even Eliza by then she was still around like just some few people were there to help out and you know Rocio was always used to this uh, when she wakes up and everything is um, is sorted out and all that and then on this particular day uh, she was a little bit uh, sad or furious that you know it was the kitchen was not in a good condition everything was dirty and that is of course that is as, a, as the boss of the house, that is how you will always uh, feel. So, kindly guys, I hope you add this clip. They didn't mention anybody. And even Mara said, you know what, uh, we have people here, they will clean. You know, Rocio comes from Argentina. Their culture is different. So, nobody is judging anybody here, you know. And also, Mara is saying that, you know what, there was party here and that shows that there was a party. But anyway, we are back to our own kitchen. So, let's continue and then uh, we talk more. We had a big party. This is a sign of the party was where people ate. <laughs> you know? Yes, yes. Yeah. 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 that you say yes. for sure it is, but you still have uh, some girls who help who help. So Rosio was just complaining that the kitchen is dirty and you know, she had the right to complain because she pays them. She pays uh, Lucy because Lucy was the person who was uh, who cleans. Like, and there were other people that were had been employed to clean. So, of course, anybody else will be mad you know but it's not like a big concern that should bring any controversy or anything up to this point did you hear the travel commando or rocio talk about african village cook kindly guys did you hear them talking about african village cook the answer is a very big no because that is the only section of the video that made african village cook the following day do a live stream and talk about how she used to work from morning to morning very tired actually she talked about a lot of things it's only that i have 
actually I, I have searched for that live stream which he did the video I wanted us to listen bit by bit so that we can know who started all this problem and up to this point of course we know it's African village cook right because at this point, nobody was mentioned. Mara just said, you know what? The good thing, we have people working here, they will just clean it. You know, the party has ended and, you know, the visitors were not that much that time and probably Rocio woke up much earlier than the rest of the people in the house. And yeah, it is something normal, guys. Me, I don't see even any problem. So, my good people, my problem is this lady, African village cook, dragging and dragging and doesn't want to stop dragging the travel commandos. Name, brand, you know, for petty, petty things. If she could have been mentioned, then it would have, it would have been okay. She, she would have had the right to come and defend herself, but she was not mentioned at all at all why did she come out and start talking about how she used to overwork how she used to do this and do that like you know she worked for two weeks and the rest of the two weeks i told her you need to rest and we have other people in here you know so that later on you don't come and complain that's what i told her but you know she said what no i am okay my channel uh will will not grow if i don't uh do videos here you know and and again the support that i'm getting is not going to continue so let me just uh do it but you know guys we just let her continue but sincerely speaking personally i had told her you know what you need to rest now and so because we had several chefs there chef claire was there prisca was there so it, it was really easy to like uh, plan and schedule themselves but for her she always stuck there and whenever somebody else wanted to like offer any kind of support she will tell them you know what uh rosie and marwa said that uh they don't want your food they only want mine so as we just kept quiet and yeah we let her continue but the only problem is she wanted to continue working and then now she's coming to complain we've not even come to this current video the latest one which we will be talking about right now right now so why did she delete that live stream because i wanted us to listen bit by bit and also respond to these lies because it's it's not really good when somebody offers you help genuinely supports you genuinely i have a very bad art burn And then later on you pretend like you want to support him you want to and then your intentions was the opposite you want to use him okay you used him you gained so much uh subscribers i remember her even uh celebrating about the 10k and then later on it moved and moved she used to also like be happy about the donations that she gets like i'm even wondering about the latest allegations you know or stories guys i have a very bad art ban so immediately after she does this damaging live stream responding to this you see this clip that i just posted like, like we've just watched with you she responded to that clip and no one had mentioned her like she just felt guilty you know and at the end of the day i don't know why will she feel guilty and yet she didn't even clean uh she, she didn't even used to clean she only used to cook you see cooking only cooking only but washing it's uh lucy and the rest and there were three actually there were three ladies who used to do cleaning like uh the kitchen and everything the utensils clothes and the old villa in general but for the old villa most of the time you will find uh so many people actually offer their time to come and clean so it wasn't like a big problem by then but when it comes to washing utensils every day cleaning the kitchen every day lucy will do it and she used to do it genuinely and that is why she still works in villa medellin like genuinely like and she's not even a youtuber you know so i wonder i really wonder why she had to come and respond to things that even doesn't concern her for her it was only the cooking that she used to do not even cleaning she used to refuse to clean by the way 
like you will say no and maybe if she cleans she will do a video and that video is for that time only the rest of the time we'll just get um complaints irene where are these and these they need to do this and this because you know during a party it's very 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 busy so most of the time we'll need people to be close and yeah so i really wonder why she is coming out to complain again six months later we are still getting there so she does this uh video and then about complaining in in that live stream which she has privated it or deleted i don't know guys it's not there i wanted us to listen slowly by slowly so after that she goes to villa medellin you can imagine after coming out and talking all this rubbish responding to something that you are not even accused of or just like that and then you go back to this same person that you have been gossiping about telling lies you know you should go and talk to somebody if you feel like you have a problem go and talk to them because actually she lives in Nyabwanse Maro was in Nyabwanse and Rosie was in Nyabwanse she would have gone to the villa and talked to them about everything you know you don't come out to the media and address things that doesn't even concern you unless they had mentioned you so she does this video and then goes back to the villa they do a video with strongman okay my problem was you know that was a way of showing disrespect why would you go to the media or social media and respond to things that i didn't even uh, accuse you of and then trying to defend yourself defend yourself you know that even shows that you are not even there to do these things genuinely if you were there you would have just been like any everybody else and do everything and stop choosing uh, the type of work that you need to do you know so she goes to the villa again does a video they sit under a tree without the travel commandos and the wife's permission like she just went there and you know of course as the boss i will feel dis disrespected you didn't ask me for permission to come you didn't even talk to me so guys i hope you understand me by what i'm uh, saying at this time you know i know i am 100% sure if she decided to talk privately one on one everything will be good but you go public you also go to the home you don't ask for permission so of course Mara felt disrespected and she had to suspend her you know leave alone wait wait even the message this message comes later on the one that uh the travel commando uh responded to her which is very true very true guys and i'm going to tell you why i'm going to tell you why even using my own example and other people's example you know i will i'm going to explain that part uh now so after being banned you know what happened life continued so she started traveling here and there here and there and then now she's in south africa so while in botswana or i don't know which country i am sent this video like i don't know i think it she was in botswana or what so somebody sends me this link to her video talking about you know i used to buy food uh with my own money and I'm like, hey, hey, African village cook. We had a structure of how things were being purchased. Because the thing is, the travel commando gave us days of how things are going to be purchased during the party. After every three days, we are going to do shopping. So, like, if we're supposed to buy stuffs tomorrow, by today in the evening, we give out the budget. And... African village cook is also informed you need to write everything that you need for the next three days that will also help uh, the travel commando plan himself well because after all he's not plucking money from trees he's not going to fetch money from the wells you know he, he has worked for it you know and he needs to plan it well on how he's going to spend it so that's how we used to work we actually the person who used to write uh the shopping list was masubo because they're the people in the store and the store they used to manage it with prince odinga if anything gets out they write if anything comes in they also record they did record keeping which really helped us a lot when it comes to management of things and yeah that's how why most of the things were really successful and there were no complaints here and there so guys even african village cook herself was always required to write any extra thing that 
she needed for the VIP section, you know? Because most of the things were the same. Onions, they were the same. Like we will just purchase for the old kitchen. Like we can't, it, it would have been abnormal for us to purchase onions for the regular kitchen and onions, like having a different budget. So we always add one budget. If you buy anything, it's for one kitchen. The only thing was, the only difference was only the cooking was done separately, you know? That was the only difference, but the food was the same. So she was not required at any point to buy any food. The only thing that she was required of her is to write the items of the things that she needed. And in case if she used to, if she used to buy things, maybe she did it to please somebody because that was not allowed. And you know, when it comes to the meals, the travel commando never wrote like, today I need to eat this, tomorrow I need to eat that. As we just used to write, um, we used to be in charge of it basically, like um, Masubo, I, Prince Odinga, but most of the things it was Masubo and that is now Gake, the current Gake, he changed his name. Is the, actually, I will say it's Gake most of the time who wrote the items from the store that are um, not there. And we will give out or submit the things that are required, the budget, everything. And at no point did the travel commander ever say no, because we didn't exaggerate things, you know. We will write the items, put the price, the market price by then, because you know nowadays uh, market prices changes because of instability in our economy. Like one thing that you will buy 70 Kenyan shillings today, the next week it will be 75, like it's just fluctu it fluctuates. When uh, the fuel goes down, the price of the fuel goes down, everything goes down, like all the commodities goes down. If anything goes up, everything, not anything basically, but if the fuel price goes up, then everything, all the commodities goes up. I don't, I don't really understand why, but uh, during that time, I will say everything was like um, in a structure, in a structural way. That is how we were organized. That's how it used to work. And that is why even in the store, the, the store department added by Gake and uh, Prince Odinga, they add this booklet indicating everything coming in and everything going out you know even if you look at that book which i didn't carry actually it's in uh, nyabo anse so in the villa so what happened is that if you look through that book you will see even uh african village cook's name there that she picked some items you know that really helped us in accountability and also it helped us plan ourselves well because of course we had to understand the travel commando he has been working at since seven years ago so there is no way we could just like um use him and exaggerate things and you know and of course after all if you lie the lies will come to an end one day one time you know so as we did our part nobody denied african village cook anything if the guest had a problem with any meal she was supposed to report it she was supposed to tell me or even tell the travel commando that was uh, supposed to be done like that so if there was a guest that was not eating anything she was supposed to inform the travel commando rocio or even i during that time but on my case i think uh if i can remember well she never ever told me about any guest not eating any kind of meal of which it's really i don't really find it um I, I don't know guys how do i put this because you know what i understand is that most of the people didn't have even complain that i don't eat this i don't eat that and i wonder why will she even um consider buying things Yet we had so many food. A lot of people supported us, actually. A lot of people. Something like rice, it never missed in that store. Something like cooking oil, it never missed in that store. Like there was food from the when the party started to when the party ended because sometimes uh, people would bring a sack of yams. Sometimes like it, there was totally food. So when it comes to her, like buying food, like... Because what I know is that she only bought once, once during the party, she bought uh, three pieces of fish 
and some few carrots only that and when she got to tell everybody about this uh, situation we were uncomfortable extremely uncomfortable because you can imagine uh, somebody has not reported that today we want i want to cook fish like you know the the rule was you cook what is there because this is a party you cannot please everybody the food was there we can't we can't say that there was never food there was no food during the party it was there and in plenty so if she, that day she felt like eating a uh, fish because that's what i would say that that day she felt like eating fish she went to buy it and shared it among the guests so even according to our timetable it was extremely balanced so personally i don't know how she complicated herself and said that uh, she used to buy i just know of these three pieces of fish and some few carrots only but the rest even the carrots they were always there we used to buy them uh, we used to buy uh, carrots which will finish at least uh, three or four days because we would always uh, buy them in uh, all sell markets which actually uh, was in plenty you know so buying once that three piece of fish and this few carrots doesn't mean that she used to buy every day and furthermore we even told her no you can't do this because later on uh, you will come and complain because if you are talking now you just bought it and you I've started telling everybody within the compound what will happen then some other time it means that you are still going to talk about it which is which will not be the case because at this point the travel commando has not refused to buy anything it's only you to say that we need fish and this and this and that is an extra meal because we had uh, there were chickens outside uh in the store where the chickens normally uh, sleep there was chicken so if she needed chicken she would have slaughtered you know so according to me i would say that she used to maybe i don't know what was happening but on that because actually i don't even know what to say because what i know is that the travel commando never ever said no to buying anything you know and furthermore there was always food within the storm and within the villa that for for real anyone can tell you that because every day no one ever missed food like everybody used to get food each and every day each and every day so for her to buy these three pieces of fish and then come out and spread it out here and yet nobody ever actually nobody was ever told to buy anything nobody was ever told to buy anything as far as i know nobody was ever told to buy anything from his or our pocket no one so all our budgets we used to give it like a day earlier and then the following day we purchased them and that was it so i really feel uh sad when african village cook comes out and say that she used to spend our money which actually is not the case because if there was no food like completely then it will be okay for her to come and say you know what uh, i used to spend my money because there was no food but she didn't say that i used to spend my money because there was no food like she just said that you know some people didn't want to eat this kind of meal that kind of meal you know so it was her responsibility to also report such cases like you know this person has said or this guest has said he or she doesn't eat this and this and that then come to us we actually include in the budget like this is needed that is needed and we buy it it was as simple as that it wasn't a matter of taking the responsibility to herself which she knows that she wasn't willing to do that unless she was willing if she was willing to do it it's okay but according to me if we had a guest that wasn't uh eating maybe this kind of meat and th and wants that kind of meat it would have been easier if she talked about it and let us know and then we just include it in the budget or we inform even the travel commando that for sure the travel commando would have done that but doing things on your own and yet we add food and then you come and complain that no i i will totally disagree with that because there was food since the party started until it ended 
because even nobody ever talked about not getting food the only time that we had uh, an issue was when the food was prepared late only that the food was prepared late and that was when we had two meals in a day you know because we used to take breakfast and late supper and then we introduced entrance fee so that we can start cooking lunch you know but when it comes to the vip for them they used to take breakfast lunch and supper so i i really i really don't understand her up to now that she used to buy how and why will she buy yet we had food there and if there was anybody who was not eating any kind of meal she was supposed to report it talk to the travel commando to rocio or even me and then we include it in the budget we buy it and that was it because most of these guests that came they would always say how long they were going to be there and it would have been easier to sort out such issues so when you decide to do something always uh talk to yourself first am i doing this all utterly or am i just doing it for show off because that means when you bought three types uh these uh three pieces of fish you informed the guest it's only i'm just guessing because me i was not there but later on when i add that she was t telling people that sh um, she bought this fish she bought this fish you know i was really uncomfortable i was really uncomfortable and at some point even if you ask gitereba i told him that uh, we need to look for another chef uh, somebody even if it's it means paying paying him or her it's better than having somebody who does something like this and then comes and spreads it out to people yet no one had told her to do it she wasn't in the first place allowed to buy any food you know because there was food anyway guys let me just leave you at this point but people should be grateful me personally i'm just encouraging her to be grateful because at this point she's becoming ungrateful anyway she has grown her channel she's doing well she's traveling so she doesn't uh she doesn't see the need to be positive and to be appreciative you know that's how people behave once they get what they want they start having this uh jealous they start becoming jealous they start becoming they start competing because at this point maybe even she is competing with the travel commando because they are going in the same direction she should have chosen to go maybe the central way or the west african way <laughs> anyway that, those are just my thoughts let's talk about uh this money that uh she is claiming that it was uh, sent to her in form of super chat so personally as a loyal as a loyal member of team marwa this is how i will put it let me use my own example you know let me just use my own example um or experience so when i was there severally marwa used to ask me if i am okay if i needed money if i needed anything for my family and you know what truth be told i used to get some small small support from people and that support which was support which i got I used to send it back home you know that's how it used to be so if travel commando wanted to give me the same same money like uh, to support my family i will actually tell him your subscribers are the best they are they have already as uh, supported me in this and this way and yeah so my family is doing okay i'm also doing okay you know that is a true if you love somebody for free and if you don't if you are not there to use anybody you you never think about using them that's what i mean and you be appreciative of as long as you are and be appreciative of everything as long as you are a truthful person you know but if i was somebody who is there to use him i will tell him no i don't have and then he gives me the following day yeah because that's how marwa is and that's how he also used to ask african uh, village cook are you okay this and this and this yeah marwa is like that to everyone everybody as long as you are close to him like you are just within the same uh, premises or compound he would ask everyone like that you know and for those who always said no they don't have this and this he will support them off camera most of the time so another scenario we add the likes of mawira kibe you know they were already monetized you remember the roof thing when they were working on the roof for them i would say they are real supporters of the travel commando because they will work at the end of the day mara will call them to pay them but they will say you know what we are okay 
because at the back of their mind they are monetized so for them they can still access the money i don't know if you understand me it's not a matter of being a slave or what it's just a matter of also being thankful to the travel commando it's a matter of appreciating the support that he has given you or uh, and the, and also appreciating the fact that he introduced us to these amazing subscribers who also support us in one way or the other so if it was me and uh, this super chat or I don't know super what, super chat and what, super sticker, it has been sent to somebody so that I can get from this person and this person has changed my life, like why would I go ahead and tell him give me this money, give me this money. Anyway guys. I don't know if you get me. I don't know if you get me. If these people wanted uh, this money to come to you, African Village Cook, they will come to your channel and super chat you and super stick you. That is, uh, I don't know, super sticker, yeah. But I don't know if you, you, you don't get the sense like this money, this super chat and super sticker, it went to the travel commando. If they wanted it to come to you, they would use the channel or they will use the paypal of the travel commando or i don't know if you get it but guys let's just learn to be appreciative of life and the people because if the travel commando had listened to his audience earlier before the party and who had warned him about the african village cook African village cook, she will still be getting the 100 views, 90 views, 50 views like before. That for a fact I can tell you because those are the kind of views that she used to get. But once she got this opportunity to work in the uh, kitchen of the travel commando, things turned around like it completely turned around for a good cause and now she is famous she is traveling the world if she was not given that opportunity by the travel commando would she be traveling the world so this all this uh, sagas and drama it is her who started it travel commando never came and said t your problem is this t you left the kitchen dirty t she he did not they did not in any way this life i don't even understand people get support and they don't look at the positive side of it. They only want to pick these small, small things and uh, talk about it so that they can grow. It's better you grow out of positivity than grow out of dramas, negativity, trying to pull somebody down, forgetting the fact that she even got a GoPro, accessories, a lot of support. Yeah, even if it wasn't that much, will you have gotten them if you weren't there? That is my question. Anyway, I think uh, most of us think differently. Yeah. So, if you watched the video up to this point, thank you so much. I really appreciate. Until next time, bye-bye.